Hello guys and welcome to this part 2 of this tutorial. In first part we created the comment box which sends the data to our database. This part we are going to get the data and put them right there. So let's get started. Before the form tag in, write in our file. I'm going to hit enter some more times. And create PHP tags. And if you have any question, just comment it out in the comment box by YouTube. There we go. And we don't need MySQL or, or require connect.php because we already did that right up here, which contains our MySQL connect information. And let's get started. First thing we are going to do is get the data. Or the only thing we're gonna do is get the data from the MySQL query. I mean our MySQL database. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do get function get query equals MySQL query and we're gonna say select all from comment by ID sorry about that but it's not that and after the comment we can say order by ID ASC which I mean DECS which is descending order let's end that and we can create a while loop while loop we can just say dollar mm, rows is equal to my sequel batch array and we're going to target that to our query and let's get started we are going to create curly brackets besides the while loop and we are going to define some variables like id equals dollar rows square brackets and ID second thing we are going to grab from the database is the name is equal to dollar rows and we are going to target to our name field third thing we are going to do is create a comment function it's just going to target the thing to our comment box. I mean, comment field in our database. So, to display all th this, or let's just say display name in comment, we are going to create an echo function which is going to have, uh, let's say, dollar name dot break it break tag and then we are going to display the comment and then we're going to have break text two more times um so as you can see we have that done let's see if that works mm, no it's giving me an error let's see my sequel factor accepts one parameter to be resource string given in C whatever blah 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 so back in my thing Let's change this part to ASSOC. And let's retry one more time. And no, same error. I am sorry about this, but this is dollar 
get query. Let's save it and check it about. Check it right there. Save error. Okay, so get query. Let's delete this part right there and retype. So make sure I don't have any error in there. Save it. Reload the page. There we go. Helper touch. This is a testing. There, nice, wonderful carbon box, and we're gonna add some more features. Like we need, I think we need one more break tag right there. And let's check it out. There we go. Let's insert one more comment. See? We need, but we need to split those. So I'm going to create a horizontal rule. Uh, HR. So the size is going to be... I mean the width... It's going to be 500 pixels. Save that, reload, and there you see we have uh, break text, kind of like those. And there we have it. And in next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the delete feature that I showed you guys. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and and also in the next tutorial we are also going to, I'm also going to show you how to prevent this error right there. I reload the page. Well, let's insert a comment in there first. Hello, blah blah blah. And if I reload the page, it's going to duplicate the comment. So we're going to fix that in our next tutorial. So I'm going to stop this right there.